Well, we went from summer to autumn in just a matter of 24 hours. Thank you for tuning in to your Monday evening weathercast. Thanks to a cold front yesterday, temperatures feeling like September into those upper 60s to low 70s throughout northeast Michigan, 70 in Oscoda, 69 in Harrisville, 63 in Roger City. Now, the decrease in the last 24 hours, pretty substantial, between 10 to 20 degrees cooler in Alpena at 16 degrees, 11 degrees in Oscoda, but also throughout pretty much a good chunk of lower Michigan, look at 9 degrees cooler in the Motor City than it was at this time yesterday. So finally getting a breather from all the heat that we experienced on Friday all the way through Sunday. Yesterday we topped that at 86 degrees, but it was also icky outside before those thunderstorms rolled in late in the afternoon. Now finally feeling pleasant to be outside with that lower humidity, 43 degrees in Alpino for that dew point, 48 in Atlanta, 47 in Oscoda, and those winds coming out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour from Alpina down to Tawas, and even out of the south at around 5 in West Branch, still making it feel mighty nice on this Monday afternoon, now going into this Monday evening. So there is a high pressure in control that's going to make its way towards the northeast throughout the day on Tuesday. Here's what's left of that cold front, really not bringing too many showers with it into parts of Ohio and Indiana. Now towards the west, there's actually a heavier batch of showers and thunderstorms into parts of Wisconsin, all the way down into parts of Iowa. And some of these showers will make their way towards parts of the UP. Now when it comes to us, there's only about a 10% chance it will make its way to our neck of our woods for tomorrow. We'll definitely do, do notice an increase in those clouds throughout the day tomorrow. So we'll go from mostly sunny today to partly cloudy and maybe even some areas dealing with partly sunny skies. So here is that high pressure making its way towards the northeast throughout the day tomorrow. And then we increase those clouds and maybe even a small chance of a shower around 10 to 20 percent. Then into Wednesday, we start noticing a bit of that warming trend beginning. We'll keep it in those mid to upper 70s on Wednesday. And then there's a small chance of another shower passing through sometime late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. And then on Thursday, that's really when you got to make sure to take it easy outside. We get back into those 80s. We get back into that summertime warmth. So make sure to stay hydrated, drink that water bottle, because the 80s are planning to stick around, not just for Thursday, but all the way through Sunday. So good news, though, at least to take, you know, go back into the water and cool off. Excellent for that. Just make sure not to overdo it too much when it comes to those outdoor activities. And if you are, just make sure to stay hydrated and be safe. Now, hour by hour for tonight, temperatures dropping into those mid 40s, 47 degrees compared to what we had the last couple of days where we saw morning temperatures already climbing into those upper 50s to low 60s. Quite a different ball game. Sunset tomorrow at 7.37 p.m. Temperatures almost the same as today. Just a small chance of a shower at 10%. And then here's the seven day forecast. Morning temperatures also warming up into those low 60s. So, and also that humidity creeping up as we get towards the back end of the work week into early next week. So look at that, 80 degrees all the way from Thursday through Sunday.